Hi everybody, Anthony here with Aces Adventures. Welcome back to another episode. Uh, this time we are at a mall that I've wanted to check out for quite a while, uh, but given the distance, easier said than done. Uh, we are at the Kiowa Mall in Ashland, Kentucky, and uh, let's get into the notes about this property. Um, a very, very, very dead mall. As you're going to notice, you're only going to see um, a handful of people uh, on a, I believe it was a uh, Tuesday evening I was in there, but still. Uh, at any rate, the Kiowa Mall actually opened in 1988, so it was a later built mall. Um, it actually opened as the Cedar Knoll Galleria, and the name actually comes from uh, a golf course that preceded the property. Um, the mall is surprisingly decently sized. Uh, anchors included the mall is approximately 600,000 square feet, and it was originally anchored um, by a Sears, a Stone and Thomas, a Farmore, and Kmart. Um, the original plans for the mall actually included a movie theater uh, in the rear of the property as well as an additional anchor, which I believe never came to pass. Um, the theater did several years later, but we'll, uh, we'll get into that in just a minute. Um, Stone and Thomas actually, too, would also later become uh, Elder Beerman, so a department store turns into a department store. <laughs> Um, the mall, even though it's located near Interstate 64, one of the main interstates in the Kentucky uh, area there where Ashland is, um, it, it struggled partially because even though it was near an interstate, uh, a lot of the residents preferred the Ashland Town Center Mall, which I was told is closer to the downtown area. And uh, another interesting thing to note is that some of the spaces in the mall were never leased uh, right from the get-go. So there is uh, gaps between the stores, and that would, that's what would explain uh, some of the gaps uh, between the stores. Um, one thing that really, really, really hurt this property, uh, as it has several other rural malls throughout the country, is that only six years after the mall opened in 1994, um, a Walmart opened less than a mile away from the mall. Um, a couple other notes here. In 2001, an Italian oven pizza restaurant closed due to illegally selling alcohol. Um, Boyd County is a dry county, which we'll get into again here in just a minute. Uh, and then in 02, another fatal blow came when Kmart and F Farmore uh, both closed due to uh, bankruptcy issues at the time. Uh, still trending downward in 05, the mall was bought by Eggleston Associates and renamed to the current name that it has today, the Kiowa Mall. Um, attempts were made to revitalize it, a new roof was put on, repairs were made, uh, Stephen Berry's occupied the old Kmart and a long planned, and the long planned uh, movie theater finally came to pass uh, and was ran by the Phoenix Theater Company. Uh, various tenants moved in and out throughout the next decade or so. Um, the mall had some prosperity, but only got up to about 21% occupancy. Um, and then, you know, other issues here and there. And then um, in 2014, <laughs> things got much worse when the Sears closed. And then probably the death blow of any kind of revitalization came, uh, came when uh, Elder Beerman closed in 2018 as part of the Bonton uh, chain liquidation with Carson Perry Scott and whatnot. Um, crazy to believe now that it's been over a year since Bonton has been closed, by the way. Um, Bonton's were the primary chain where I live. Uh, Carson's and, you know, Elder Beerman were in other parts of the country. Um, and I, as I had mentioned earlier, one interesting, th interesting thing to note is, uh, like I said, Boyd County uh, was a dry county up until 2007. I believe that's accurate. If that's not accurate, please correct me. But uh, according to my research, that sounds pretty accurate. But again, I could be wrong. Um, and that, you know, the, the ability for, you know, restaurants in, in a mall, you know, like some taverns or whatnot, or not so much taverns, but, you know, like a, like a Ruby Tuesday type of place uh, to sell alcohol uh, probably did not help matters much um, as we wander um, through the theater here. Um, so this, this property was uh, extremely, extremely dead. Uh, it's another one of those malls that I visit that I just cannot believe that it is still open. Um, there are literally only a handful of places in this uh, establishment, uh, one being a library. Um, and I can't imagine that they generate much revenue. So as I have mentioned before in uh, previous videos, um, one of the main things that probably keeps the property going is just the fact that it's a local rural mall and um, you know maybe there's just not a ton of expenses really 
to, you know, it looks like they, I mean, I didn't see any security in here. I didn't see any maintenance workers. So they're just doing the bare minimum to, uh, to keep it running. Um, a rural king did open up in here, and I'm sure that probably does well. So I guess that helps a little bit too. Uh, and then you're going to see, uh, fortunately, one of the doors was open uh, into the former restaurant. You're going to get to see that in a moment here. Um, hopefully, you guys are enjoying the pace of the content. Been putting out a video every two weeks, just trying to pace some of this stuff. Um, you know, every week is pretty difficult. Um, last year, I did that and really exhausted uh, a lot of uh, resources. So just slowing down just a little bit, um, but still trying to squeeze in some live streams and whatnot. Um, before I get out of here, the usual banter, please consider becoming a Patreon donor at patreon.com slash acesadventures. 100% of that money uh, goes back into travel costs. Um, make sure you check me out on Instagram. I'm going to keep harping on this because I want to really build up my Instagram follower accounts. Um, Instagram is a great interactive platform that I want to be more engaging with with you fans. Um, and I'm also going to be um, doing live chatting with fans on Instagram. So if you don't have Instagram already, uh, download it or add me at acesadventures one. And like I said, I'm going to be doing a lot of live streaming on Instagram. And there is a really cool feature where I can bring people into the chat with me and uh, video chat with them live. Kind of like a talk show kind of thing is the best way I can describe it. So Aces Adventures 1 on Instagram and also on Twitter. And of course, Aces Adventures on Facebook. Thank you so much, as always, for the kind words. Make sure you check out all the other explorers in the Dead Mall Discord. Uh, my buddy Sal and a bunch of these guys, um, everybody around you know the country putting out some really, really great work. And uh, we really started it, uh, an independent movement. And um, the Dead Mall King, the true Dead Mall King, uh, Dan Bell, I know he mentioned he's going to have some content coming out uh, on some malls over the next few months, too. So keep an eye out for that because he is... He is the OG of this mall game and looking forward to seeing some new stuff from him as well. Um, thank you so much for the time as always. This is Anthony with Aces Adventures and we'll be back soon in just a few short weeks with more Dead Mall content.